Hello up Alex, it's Joe Blaze Games. Welcome to the Access Show, your daily look at everything to do with early access games, brand new games, and game information and news. Today I give you Battle Royale. I'm gonna give you three bits of Battle Royale news. Not one, not two, three time. We've got two brand new Battle Royale games we're gonna be talking about, and obviously a latest addition to Fortnite. So, what are we starting off with today? Well, this game's by Boston Nova Studios, the people behind Lawbreakers. If you don't remember or remember what Lawbreakers was, don't worry, no one else did. It was a first person arena game built by Cliff Blazinski, the guy that helped create Gears of War. Um, they set out to make this as their own studio last year and it was a huge flop. No one played it, absolutely no one thought it was any good. Unfortunately, it just really got a bad rep and it just didn't go anywhere. They made a huge mistake. They announced it was gonna be free to play at first, then they said you had to pay for it, then they said it was gonna come out to console. It just ended up being a big, massive mess. So, what have they been doing? Well, obviously they've been looking at the Battle Royale games and thinking, hey, we want some of that cash action. And they've made this. Radical Heights is an 80s inspired, bat mental, sort of colourful, neon game. The difference, the hook with them is, you're going to carry over cash, or you can carry over cash, over to your next round. And when you do this, when you gather this cash up and you carry it over, you can buy weapons and cosmetics to use in the next round. That sounds really dodgy. That sounds pay to win to me. They've already had a few bad repress reports about it already in the last few days, talking about how the fact that it's not a good idea for this. But you can basically deposit cash or, or withdraw cash during a match. And so you could literally start off another game with an absolute bank load full of money that you could go and use to buy weapons and buy cosmetic items. It does look cool. It looks a bit janky. It is the first day, and I've heard nothing about this until today. So it's really early in development, and I'm amazed they're putting it out straight away. But maybe they've learned their lessons from the mistakes they made with Lawbreakers. Just getting it out there, letting feedback come, letting people decide how the game's going to develop. Because they didn't do that enough with Lawbreakers. They just did lots of closed behind doors, alphas and betas. But they maybe should have put in early access a lot sooner. Anywho, what do you think about this? Pay to win? Is it pay to win? Do you mind if people have got extra cash to start the next round with? Do you think it, they'll nerf it? There's lots of things. It's the first day. They've already backtracked. They had a Founders Pack going where you could get 10% extra cash for every match if you bought the Founders Pack. They've got rid of that at the moment straight away. So I'm waiting for this to come live. It's live today. I'm going to be playing it on a live stream later on. Check it out if you want to see what Radicalites is all about. Now onto Realm Royale. They released a teaser trailer earlier in the year. The creators of Paladins saying that they were working on a Battle Royale game. I show that to you guys we've done a news video about it now it's finally on its way in alpha it's closed behind doors they're not allowing people to play it just yet there's obviously lots of things they're probably doing with it and there's lots of ndas that you can't show any gameplay or talk about it at the moment they've renamed it though it's going to be its own separate game so it's not going to be just part of paladins you're not going to load up paladins and have realm royale sitting there on the menu it will be a separate load or separate game that you'll have to download Obviously, it's going to be free to play. Um, there's not really a lot we know too much other than some of the basics. If you're a Paladins fan, you might recognize some of the systems and some of the things. But there's going to be lots of hero characters. And there's going to be lots of the sort of weapons and things you would expect. And it looks like you can use your horse or your, your steed. What I have learned is that lots of the stuff and items that you collect can be broken down into the shards and then you can use them shards at certain spots like these. This is a mine or a crafting sort of mine bench and where you can make brand new weapons like legendary gear. So if you're looking to get some of the keys, they've already been sent out to people. So if you did sign up for this, be lucky. You're not going to be getting a key anytime soon, but they will be opening up more alphas very soon and hopefully dispersing the keys even more. What really stands this out or makes it different is this forge idea. When I said about the craft in mine, it's obviously called a forge. Um, you will take your shards once you've got enough items that you don't necessarily want and you've broken them down to a forge. Now there's only these forges around specific areas. So you can see I've got like a rocket launcher in this picture here. Maybe I don't want that. You dismantle it and then you're going to have to get over to one of these forges. Now there's only a few forges on the map. So it's going to be really important and critical where you go. And it does look like it's got the typical ring, the circle of death as well. So that's going to be a factor in it. And the map looks pretty interesting actually. I really like the idea. It's got different biomes, really, really different biomes like Badlands and Everdust and stuff like that. I enjoy Paladins. I've got to say, when I've played them side by side against Overwatch, I prefer Paladins. It was just easy to get into. I didn't feel like I had to be OP or learn loads to get good at it. I was doing all right on it. So yeah, anything that comes out with a free early access game like this, 
and that's a battle royale game i'm all over that so i'll be keeping tabs on this i'll try and get hold of a key it does say you can't stream it or video it but god damn them i'll do it i'll do it no i won't i won't please send me a key please send me a key um but i'll certainly as soon as it's available show you guys some footage and gameplay of this realms royale game and the last bit of battle royale news is this port a fault new Portable fault spouts a quick defensive position upon impact. So is it going to be just like a wooden shack? Is it going to be something completely different? We don't know yet, but they're teasing it. So it's coming very, very, very soon. Maybe this week, probably next week. Who knows? We'll have to see. If it goes live, I will try and do a live stream and show you guys exactly what's going on. I do like playing Fortnite. I've not been covering it much on my channel, like just videos every day. It's more just about if there's news. And I say it all the time, but they do a good job of letting people know what they're doing. So really, news channels don't really get a chance to give as much information out. So I do like live streaming it though. So once it goes live, I will do a live stream of this. But expect some fun and antics. If you've always been bad at building in Fortnite, hopefully this will help you out. Um, it does look like it's a rare item. I know it's blue background, so that just might mean it's just that background but i've got a feeling it's probably going to be a bit of a rare item to find um and it'll be interesting to see how it goes and see what it works how it, how it does it can you imagine everyone chucking these little things at each other what if you could trap a player inside a base a spready sprung one up and sling a trap in it that would be pretty cool that would be good to see some sort of gameplay like that so hopefully as soon as that's live i'll do a live stream on it and yeah we'll be going and checking out the radical heights game as soon as it's live today i'm joe plays games i'll give you loads of different access news early access news on games particularly ones that hopefully will be coming to console like xbox and ps4 if there's anything else you want to know make sure you go and join my discord the link is in the description down below come and check out all the game channels we've got we've just opened up a bunch of new ones so there's loads and loads of different things you can talk about no matter what game you're into pubg pixar sea of thieves fortnite seven days to die daisy conan raft eso we're open to adding more as well so come join a great community and make some friends people to play some games with i am joe Blaze games i'll see you right back for another access show very soon Bye bye